वक्रतुंडमहाकाय सूर्यकोटिप्रभ निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्वकार्यु सरस्वती नमस्तभ्यं वरधे कामिणी विद्यारंभम करिष्या सिद्धिर्भवत मे सदा गुरव सर्वोका भिषजे भवरोना दक्षिणामूर्त नम ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योमेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्य वंदे श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर साक्षात्त दयानंद परमास्वूपिण तत्वान प्रशास्ता प्रणतस्म परम पद सहना सहनो भुन सह वीकवाह तेजस्वीतमस्तमाषावे अखंड सच्चिदानंद अखंड सच्चिदानंद अवांग मनस गोचर आत्मानम अर्थतोप्यद्वयानंद गुरु नाराध्य वेदात सारं वक्षे यथापति गुरु नाराध्य वेदात सारं वक्षे यथापति आवरण विक्षेपनामक अस्ति आवरण विक्षेपनामक अस्ति शक्ति शक्ति आवरण शक्ति तावत् आवरण शक्ति तावत् अल्पोपी मेघ अल्पोपी मेघ अनेक योजना आयतम आदित्य मंडलम 
அநேக யோஜனமாயத்தமாதித்ய மண்டலம் அவலோக்கயத்திரயனபிதாயத்தயா அவலோக்கயத்திரிதாகத ிஸ்வரூபோகமாத்ம ஆவரணவிக்ஷேபநாமக்கம் சக்திதயம் அஸ்தி ஆவரணம்ிங் கன்சீலிங் பவர் ஆவரண சக்தி அஜானேனாவிருத்தவரண சக்தி அட் லெவல் ஆஃப் தி இண்டிவிஜுவல் அஜானேனாவிருத்தம் ஜானம் ஆவிருத்தம் கவர் இந்த கீதா வியாசின் தூமேனாவிரியத்தே வன்னிகி ிக்ஷேபிக்ஷேப we translate the word vikshepa kshipdatu with vi purvaka translators the, the power of creation which of the word creation we use we can use the word projection that is better creation means srishti creations creation is it is srishti means creation that which is created something new is created the universe this prapancha is not really created it is projection so me vivekananda he also says it is better to use the word projection because creation creates some understanding long understanding that you create something you create something new and that gains certain reality 
here it is projection like the snake is projected on the rope snake is not created it is projected projection so vikshepa is projection power of projection so avarana is the power of concealing covering power and vikshepa is projection this ajnanam as these two shakti ajnanam at the level of samashti as well as at the level of vyashti at the level of samashti it is that this shakti is a vibhuti of of the lord this this is a shakti so really a shakti and that is what it is worship worship as ishwari devi shiva shakti ayukto yadi bhavati shaptah pravitum nache devam devo nakalu kushalah spanditam api and sundar lagi the very first shloka itself acharya she says he praises the devi yadi shiva shakti na uttah shiva shakti yuktah if shiva is not united with shakti spanditam api na shakyate he cannot spanditam he cannot move so shiva alone is not enough for the srishti you need shakti so the srishti is possible because of this shakti shakti dvayam shivasya shakti hi ishwarasya shakti hi ishwari or maya at the level of samashti it is maya at the level of the vishti it is ajnanam it is tena jivah tera jivah avriyate ajnana ena avrutam jnanam jnanam avriyate mukhyanti jivah mukhyanti iti so therefore the two great powers of the upadhi ajnana ajnana upadhi are responsible for are responsible for this projection for this kalpita for this kalpita srishti kalpita srishti srishti is kalpita that is why we say it is as projection it is vivarta upadhana karanam it is the srishti is not parinami parinami upadanam parinami means something undergoes changes and something new comes out of that like the milk becoming a curd parinami parinami upadana karan whereas the clay becoming the pot vivarta upadana this rope appearing as a snake vivarta upadana karan so therefore kalpitam it is kalpitam therefore only it is projection this shakti dvayam this shakti dvayam the vikshepa avarna shakti and vikshepa shakti here the author he introduces and why introduces mainly the the vikshepa because the creation is going to be talked about even though the creation comes after few lines but here the avaranam followed by vikshepa that results in this projection that is this srishti first avaranam followed by vikshepa without avaranam vikshepa not possible so first is avaram first is covering and then projection projective 
as we saw the first the snake is covered first the snake is the no, sorry the rope is covered the rope is not seen that is our the rope is covered and in the place of the rope snake is projected so avaranam followed by vikshepa so the snake is seen on the rope this the snake is that is a projection that is rishti so that is going to be the the topic the next topic so when we have to talk about srishti then we have to talk about vikshepa vikshepa shakti at the level of vishti as i told both the shaktis are the vibhutis of the lord the shaktis this avarana shakti at the level of samashti it has no function it doesn't function it is inoperative it has no say over the ishvara samashti upadi that is maya upadi samashti karana sharira upadi maya upadi samashti karana upa sharira upa upagita chaitanyam is ishvara and is shakti is avarna shakti so avarna shakti it is the shakti of the lord the shakti cannot dilute the ishvara so therefore this avarna shakti i said it is it is inoperative meaning it cannot cover the the knowledge of the ishvara if it covers the knowledge of the ishvara then ishvara becomes an agyani becomes a samsari why because ishvara is sattva guna pradhana we have seen sattva guna pradhana it is sattva guna pradhana therefore avaranam avaranam covering implies avaranam covering implies malina sattva pradhana but ishvara is ishvara upadhi is shuddha sattva pradhana therefore how can this avarana shakti cover ishvara that's why this shakti becomes a vibhuti of the lord it makes the ishvara sarvagnya sarvam janati that is at the level of samashti therefore this avarana shakti this avarana shakti covers veils only at the level of yashti only at the level of yashti this avarana shakti covers the nirupadika chaitanyam chaitanyam nirupadika chaitanyam as it were it's not really covering how can nirupadika chaitanyam be covered chaitanyam is sarvavyapi sarvagatah nityah achalah sthanuh how can this nirupadika chaitanyam can be covered by the avarna shakti it is just like saying the cloud covering the sun the cloud covering the sun sun is so huge and it is the far at a, at a distance which is so far which is which is again the light years some light years it's it's the biggest brightest luminary very far away and the cloud it is just in the its its atmosphere how can this small cloud can cover the huge sun the area of sun is so huge and the area of the cloud is so small small cloud covering the sun is impossible but we say but we say megha channa arkaha iti how is it possible it really doesn't cover the sun it is only a a, a speech it is only a a gauna vritti the it covers it covers a vision of the observer of the sun that is in the form of obstacle in between the seer and the seen seen is sun the seer is myself so my drishti 
my vision is covered by this small patch of cloud. Even cloud is not required. A small thing, a book is enough. Book can cover. Even the eyelids itself is enough. When, they, when you shut your eyelids, sun is not seen. The huge sun is covered by the small eyelids. Therefore, this is as though only Achadayati Eva. That Eva is important. Achadayati Eva. Therefore, this, therefore, this Srishti is Eva. Everything is Eva. As though, as though, really it is not. If it is really, if it is real, then it becomes Satya. The Srishti becomes, in Srishti enjoys Satya Tom. Eva, when we say it is not real, it is Mithya. So, therefore, our Ajnanam is so small. It's limited. Ajnanam also limited only. It is not unlimited Ajnanam. If Ajnanam is unlimited, and Chaitanyam is also unlimited, it is like uh, the Satan and uh, the Holy Ghost, both existing simultaneously. It is absurd. It, it means Satan or Satan, or Satan or Satan, what? They also enjoy equal power as that of the Holy Ghost, the problem. So, ag Ajnanam cannot be unlimited. It is limited. The limited Ajnanam covers as though the unlimited Chaitanya. The limited Ajnanam covers the unlimited Chaitanya. When we say it is as though, not really. Ignorance cannot cover Chaitanya. In fact, the Chaitanya itself is illumined by Chaitanya itself is known or made aware of by Chaitanya. By, sorry, this Ajnana itself is made known or aware of by Chaitanya. I don't know French. How do I know? I don't know French is Ajnana, French Ajnana. That is illumined by Chaitanya. So Ajnana itself Ajnanam itself is, is made aware of by Chaitanya. Therefore, Ajnanasya Ashraya. Ajnanam also has its Ashraya only in Chaitanya. How can this Ajnanam can cover the, the Chaitanya? Not possible. As a cloud cannot cover the sun. It's a beautiful drishtanta. In fact, if we analyze this drishtanta, the Drishtanta comes in the next uh, line, 52. If you see, this, this cloud, how this cloud is formed? The cloud is formed, the cloud is formed with the waters of the ocean. The ocean water gets evaporated and it, it results in the formation of this cloud as and the cloud and the, the cloud covers further when it uh, when it cover when it when the clouds gathers it becomes a huge one relatively huge one and covers the sun now the cloud as the waters of the ocean evap it's evaporated and forms a cloud and the cloud covers the sun similarly Similarly, this Ajnanam also, this Ajnanam is, is, is created, is, it is, uh, it is, it is uh, because of the Abhimana. It is because of the Abhimana with the, the Parichinna Sharira Manasagata. Atma being there, it as though conditioned by the Sharira Manasangata. Sharira Manasangata, body mind sense complex, is different, distinct from Chaitanyam, Atma. It is looked upon that by, by any individual that Agam Sharira Manasangata, I am this body mind sense complex, not as Atma. I am this body mentioned. Atma cannot, Atma cannot be conditioned by Sharira Manasangata. 
when atma i am the atma but that is not owned up but what we say is i am this body means sense complex so the ajnanam becomes a cause for ajnanam becomes a cause for considering the body mind sense complex this upadhi to be myself it is like the water of the ocean and that becomes so the bad becomes a cloud that becomes a cloud and covers the sun so that covers this upadhi the upadhi abhimana that covers the the gyanam of the person and becomes a samsari and therefore the sun is covered by the cloud we say therefore we said the sun is covered by the the cloud taking the sharira mana sangata to be one self therefore we say aham samsari therefore this drishtanta is a very beautiful drishtanta in fact the the clouds are created by the sun in the presence of the sun only clouds can form similarly in the presence of the chaitanya only this ajnana also is illumined like the cloud is illumined the cloud is the cloud is the formation of the cloud the clouds are produced produced by or the clouds get the status of the astitva the existence by the sun similarly ajnanam also enjoys the existence relative existence because of chaitanyam because of chaitanyam therefore the ajnanam the limited ignorance ajnanam as its ashraya in this consciousness chaitanya which is unlimited if that is so how can this ajnanam cover the chaitanya so it is only like the figure of speech mega chinna artha arkaha the cloud cover one the clouds cover only the vision only the vision of sun similarly ajnanam covers only the the observer not the brahma not the brahma chaitanya it looks as though brahma chaitanya nirupadika chaitanya is acharita as though acharita this avarna shakti and vikshepa shakti as i as we discussed in the last class it functions in two ways at the level of yashti and samashti in fact they have a joint venture when they operate avarna shakti for that the best example is raju sarpa raju sarpa is is the best example when raju swarupam so when the swarupam of the raju is covered first is covered it is raju is not seen by the observer that is avarna avachinna raju that avachinna raju who alone later become later become this sarpaha kalpita sarpaha sarpa is kalpita snake is projected avachinna raju who becomes the the yetu avachinna raju who is there therefore kalpita sarpaha that is kalpita sarpa is vikshepa avachinna raju is avarna and kalpita kalpita sarpa is vikshepa and from there onwards the problem starts samsaritva the fear the fear of snake that is the samsara the fear of vitaraga vayat krodha all those things of the raga dvesha adi kartrutva bhuktrutva adi this samsara starts therefore this avarna shakti this avarna shakti gives a status of give the status karana karanatva status to the rope the avarna shakti gives the karanatva status to the rope so without our avarna shakti rope the raju cannot become the the hetu the karanam for sarpa once this avarna shakti is given the status 
then only then vikshepa shakti starts functioning so rajju or avaranam and sarpa followed by sarpa vikshepa followed by samsara so rajju avaranam bina sarpa vikshepa na sambhavati so avaranam followed by vikshepa at the level of samashti this agyanam this avarana vikshepa as i told this avarana shakti avarana shakti operates only at the level of i mean operates operates what i mean is veiling covers only at the level of yashti whereas at the level of samashti what happens it becomes it gives the status of it gives the status of sarvagyatva to ishvara therefore ishvara ha sarvagya ha sarvagya ka sarvagya means he becomes sarva karana samarthah sarva karana samarthah he is becomes capable of it, it becomes capable of capable of all knowledge omniscience therefore one is capable of producing the the sirsht producing the jagat for the jagat for jagat to come jagat is jagat the jagat there is the order there is intelligence so from by seeing the jagat we can infer by seeing the jagat by seeing the orderliness of the jagat one can infer there must be an intelligent being behind the jagat if there is an order functioning harmoniously intelligently functioning there must be an intelligent being even with regard to pot we consider that it is pot has got some shape some beautiful shape some symmetry is there it has got certain utility so it therefore it must be preceded by a karanam which must be intelligent so similarly from the srishti from the jagat we can infer that the srishti karta must be intelligent there must be intelligent principle we cannot deny that so therefore that sarvagyatvam it is not just it is not just one thing srishti consists of so many things so many things and beings and they are created therefore it must be all knowledge the one who created must be all knowledge is omniscient so this that's omniscient the sarvagyatvam sarva karana samarthatvam for that for for that avarana shakti is required therefore avarana shakti at the level of samashti condition as though conditions in nirupadika chaitanyam and that becomes the that becomes the that makes the the ishvara sarvagnya sarva shaktiman sarva karana samarthatvam so therefore only ishvara gets a nimitta karana nimitta karana the maker the maker is intelligent nimitta karanatvam because of avarna shakti because of avarna shakti so therefore avarna shakti doesn't create any agnyanam to ishvara that becomes a abhushanam the shakti becomes an abhushanam whereas at the level of vishti it creates agnyanam and therefore the jiva it, it creates a, it create it covers it covers the jiva and therefore jiva becomes samsara so avarna shakti is not the cause for agnyanam like jiva in the case of ishvara in fact it makes ishvara a sarvagnya whereas at the level of vishti the avarna shakti makes a jiva an agnyani samsari so ishvara is ever asamsari ever asamsari jiva is because of agnyanam is samsari because the chaitanyam cannot be covered really by agnyanam therefore this avaranam can be removed 
can be dismissed, can be uncovered. That is where the jnanam comes, that is where the shastram comes. The avarnam is the cause for samsara, it is. it can be removed, therefore only shastram. Anyway, that comes later, since we are going to talk about the Srishti. So, here, here, this Nurupadika Chaitanyam, Nurupadika Chaitanyam conditioned by Avana Shakti at the level of Samashti becomes Sopadika Chaitanyam, Sarvagya Sopadika Chaitanyam, and Nurupadika Chaitanyam conditioned by Avana Shakti at the level of Shakti becomes Sopadika Sopadika Chaitanyam, that is Pragnyaha. Pragnyaha. And because of Ikshya Pakshati, Ishvara becomes Sarva Shakti Man. Because of Ikshya Pakshati. So, this, therefore, this Avranam, by Avrana Shakti, Ishvara gains Sarva Gyatvam, by Ikshya Pakshati, Ishvara gains Sarva Shakti Matvam. Therefore, these two Shaktis, Shakti Dvayam, Shakti is Shakti is the, the Abhushram, it's a glory, vibhuti of the Lord. Whereas at the level of Yashti, this Avrana Shakti at the at the Pragna level, it makes him it makes the jiva agnyaha. Na janati iti agnyaha. It functions as though as a real covering and makes a jiva an agnani. So once once covering is done, then Vikshe Pakshati operates. So, Vikshe Pakshati, Pragna, who has become Ajnaha because of Avrana Shakti at the level of Samashti. Now, this Ajnanam uses Vikshe Pakshati for further, for, 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 for Samsara, for Samsaritvam, Dega Abhimanatvam, Dega Abhimanitvam, Dega Abhimanam. Dekha Vimana, that is samsara. Dekha Vimana is samsara. Sariya Mana Sangata Abhimana 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 Samsarito. So therefore, with Avrana Shakti, Bhagavan becomes Sarvajnaha. With Avrana Shakti, I become Ajnaha. With Vikshepa Shakti, Bhagavan becomes Srishti Karta, Sarva Shakti Man. With Vikshepa Shakti, I, I become samsari, sharina mana sangata, abhimanavan, I become. So this is a difference, difference of the shakti dvayam at the level of yashti and samashti. Because avaranam covers the, covers the, covers what? And make covers what and makes Jiva Samsari, it covers the buddhi. It covers the, the buddhi of the Jiva. But where is buddhi? Buddhi yet has not yet come. Buddhi is going to be created. That's where the Srishti comes. The buddhi also, buddhi, buddhi is the Santakarna. It is one of the one of the constituents of the Sukram Sharira. It is going to be talked about. That is why, that's why the Srishti comes, Srishti topic comes. So this, this, it covers the buddhi, it covers the intellect of the individual, therefore the person becomes a samsari. So suddenly you say buddhi, then where is that buddhi? Buddhi we have not, it, it has not yet come. So buddhi is going to be, it is going to come. That's why here the author, he introduces the Vikshe Pashakti. Avaranam Agyanam. He doesn't stop there. Further projection is there. Agam Samsari. So, therefore, Vikshe Pashakti. Therefore, Srishti. So, this is the connection. There's a flow of the order you can see in this. So, therefore, here, this Avara Shakti, which is responsible for Sarvagyatvam of Ishwara, which is re responsible for Prapancha Srishti, the Dakshepak Shakti, which is responsible for Prapancha Srishti, this is at the level of Samashti. At the Vyashti level, 
there's agnyaha the jiva becomes agnyaha because of avarna shakti and jiva becomes a samsari because of vikshepa shakti so therefore this avarna shakti tavat alpaha api this avarna shakti tavat alpopi alpaha api even though it is alpa alpa is swalpa alpa alpopi the alpopi you have to connect with megaha alpopi megha not avarna shakti alpa shemita avarna shakti hi tavat alpopi megaha even though the alpopi to be connected with the, the word megha not with avarna shakti avarna shakti tavat avarna shakti tavat means the avarna shakti what it is that is a meaning avarna shakti what it is what alpopi megha aneka yojana ayatam aneka yojana yojana is a measurement measurement of distance yojana miles ayatam ayatam means stretched aditya mandalam this aditya mandalam this aditya aditya surya suryam surya suryam aditya mandalam solar disk aneka yojana ayatam surya mandalam aditya mandalam alpopi megaha even though the mega it is small so small but it covers a huge sun its distance is aneka yojana extending over thousands of miles aneka yojana ayatam aditya mandalam avaloka itra nagana patha vidhakataya avaloka itra avaloka itra dasiya lok datu avapurvaka lok datu trishpirtay avaloka ita the seer the observer avaloka itra nayana nayana is i a uh, vision the vision of the observer the vision of the observer pata vision of the observer pata is path pata meaning the path so avaloka itra avaloka itra vidhakataya the cover this avaloka itra vidhakata vidhakataya dhadatu pi purvaka dhadatu vidhaka pida vidhakataya it is vidhayakataya sorry i i told uh, I, i think i read it wrong vidhaya vidhayakataya dhadatu pi purvaka vidhaya vidhayakataya i juxtaposed vidhayaka vidhaka vidhakataya dhakataya vidhayakataya dhadatu pi purvaka dhadatu dha is dudhanch dhatu dharana poshna yoga with with the b becomes to cover so therefore vidhayaka vidhayakam vidhayakam means it is vidhayakam is covering nayana pata nayana pata is the direction the nayana pata the direction of the nayana the vision of the seer so pidayakataya pidayaka pidayakata tasya bhavah pidayakata tena artaya pidayakataya so pidayakataya is it is pidayakata it's a word it's a pradipadikam tatadita tal pratya so pidayakataya pida covering the nayana pata the direction of the vision of the observer is covered by covering the having the status of covering the vision of the observer that is the meaning pidayakataya is pidayakata having the status of covering covering the direction of the vision of the observer it is one word avaloka gitra nayana pata pitha yakata taya avaloka gitra nayana pata pitha kataya avala avaloka ituhu nayana pata nayana pata nayanasya pata nayana pata avaloka ituhu nayana pata 
ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವಲೋಕ ಇತ್ರ ನಗೇನ ಪಥ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ತದ್ ಪುರುಷ ಅವಲೋಕ ಇತ್ ನಗೇನ ಪಥಸ್ಯ ಪಿದಾಯಕ ಪಿದಾ ಪಿದಾಯಕಥಾ ಷಷ್ಠಿ ತದ್ ಪುರುಷ ಸೊ ನಗೇನ ಅವಲೋಕ ಇತ್ರ ನಗೇನ ಪಥ ಪಿದಾಯಕಥಾ ಪಿದಾಯಕಥಯ ಫೈನಲಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ತೃತೀಯ ವಿಭಕ್ತಿ ಪಿದಾಯಕತೆಯ ಬೈ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಐಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವರ್ ಬೈ ದಟ್ ಪಿದಾಯಕತೆಯ ಯಥ ಆಚಾಯತೆಯತಿ ಯಥ ಆಚಾದಯತಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆಚಾಯ ಆಚಾದಯತಿ ಇವ ಆದಿತ್ಯ ಮಂಡಲ ಆಚಾದಯತಿ ಇವ ಆಸ್ ದೋ ದ ಆದಿತ್ಯ ಮಂಡಲ ಇಸ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ the cloud covers the sun cloud cannot cover the sun really we know because the sun extends over so many yojana miles but it covers mega covers how nagana patta vidayakataya vidayakataya aachadayati iva iva means natu aachadayati aachadayati iva really doesn't cover it covers as though it covers as though similarly tatha in the same way agyanam which is limited or unlimited it is unlimited sorry it is limited agyanam is limited it is parichinnam agyanam which is parichinnam atma is aparichinnam brahma aparichinnam aparichinna brahmanah achadayan achadayanam katham bhavati ಪರಿಚಿನ್ನ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಅಜ್ಞಾನೇನ ನ ಬಹುತಿ ದಫೋರ್ ತಥ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಪರಿಚಿನ್ನ ಅಪಿ ಇವನ್ ತೋ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪರಿಚಿನ್ನ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಪರಿಚಿನ್ನ ಅಪಿ ಆತ್ಮಾನ ಅಪರಿಚಿನ್ನ ಆತ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪರಿಚಿನ್ನ ಆತ್ಮ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಪರಿಚಿನ್ನ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ದ ವೆಷ್ಟಿ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಪರಿಚಿನ್ನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಅಪರಿಚಿನ್ನ therefore the vishti agyanam covers the atma as it were av avaloka itra buddhi vidayakataya avaloka ituhu buddhi avaloka itra buddhi buddhege vidayakata taya avaloka itra buddhi vidayakataya by covering the buddhi the intellect by covering the knowledge of the individual aacharayati eva asamsarinam aparichinnam aatmanam aacharayati eva kena aparichinna ajnanena tapo tadrsham samarthyam eva tadrsham samarthyam the shakti is avarana shakti tadrsham samarthyam eva so ajnana shakti is ajnana shakti as the capability ajnana shakti as the, the capability buddhi buddhim aachadayati buddhi aachadaganena covering the buddhi it covers the uncoverable atma aparichinna atma it covers the buddhi in fact in the sleep what happens the sleep also the same buddhi is covered in the swapna in the swapna the waker the waker is not there in the swapna the, the dreamer the dreamer creates its own srishti swapna srishti in the swapna srishti the buddhi in the swapna srishti the 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 buddhi of the waker not that that the buddhi is covered by avarna shakti of avarna shakti of the the nidra sleep the nidra avarna shakti covers the dreamer and the dream and he, he projects now because it is covered now he projects here the world dream world he projects a a world the dreamer does the dreamer know does it does is a creator of the dream no he doesn't know the dreamer in the dream doesn't know that he is the creator of the dream he in fact 
he becomes a dream and he also plays a role in the dream he becomes one of the the srishta in the dream he becomes one of the srishta a creator in the dream and he also plays a role so what happens to the buddhi of this person this achadeti in the dream achadeti same way in the waking world also our buddhi is covered as though therefore therefore ajnani therefore agam samsari atma becomes samsari ajnani therefore tadrsham samartyam tadrsham samartyam means the avarna shakti should be the should be connected this this should be connected with avarna shakti tavat tadrsham samartyam the, the tadrsham samartyam should be connected to the word tavat in the the first line tavat tadrsham avarna shakti Samartyam Tavata Avana Shakti Pavati Avana Shakti has got the Samartyam Tavata. So Avana Shakti has got the, the Samartyam, the capability, the capability to cover Tadrasham Samartyam Tavata Avana Shakti. Okay, this Avana Shakti, this Avana Shakti concealing power of Ajnanam. it is concealing what concealing buddhi concealing buddhi concealing the buddhi of the jiva it cannot conceal the buddhi of the ishvara that is why the buddhi of ishvara is not limited the antakarnam of ishvara is not unlike the unlike the antakarnam of the jiva all knowledge is there all the time simultaneously whereas in the case of jiva it is not when one knowledge is not there which there other knowledge is not there when one knowledge at a time only one knowledge for other knowledge to happen this vritti has to go another vritti has to come but that is not in the case of ishvara all the vritti is all the time no vritti limits the ishvara therefore ishvara sarvagya So, and here for that, here, here the author quotes from the Asta Malaka Stotra. It's a beautiful Asta Malakiyam. The Asta Malakiyam, the written by Asta Malaka, one of the Shishya of the Shankara Charya, and it is in Bujanga Prayasa meter. The meter is Bujanga Prayasa. It is. It is not trishtu, uh, even though we recite it some somewhat like that. But it is the meter is different. Pujanga prayasa meter for which for astamala for which astamala kiyam Bashekara himself had written commentary. I think it is the only commentary of the Bashekara on the on the shloka written by its own shishya astamala kiyam. अस्तमलकीय भाष्य सो घनछन्न दृष्टि घनछन्न घनछन्न अर्कम घनछन्न दृष्टि ही घन घनछन्न घन मींस क्लाउड घनछन्न दृष्टि ही घनछन घनछन्न दृष्टि ही द दृष्टि इज विजन द विजन इज घनछन्न It is channa, chadu dhatu. Then tapratya, channa, covered. Drishti is covered by the cloud. Ganat channa, drishti. Ganat channa, drishti hi. Drishti is covered by the cloud. Whose drishti? Whose drishti? The, the drishti, the vision of the seer. Therefore, ganat channa, drishti hi. It's Bhagavad Gita Samasa. Ganena. चन्नम घनछन्न घनछन्ना दृष्टि ही यस्य सह द वन ओस विजन इज कवर्ड बाय द मेघा सो रेफरिंग टू द पर्सन इट्स नॉट जस्ट अ विजन द विजन ऑफ द पर्सन व्हिच इज कवर्ड बाय द मेघा सो घनछन्न दृष्टि ही रेफरिंग टू द पर्सन सो घनस्तन दृष्टि ही घनछन्न दृष्टि ही 
ಘನಚನ್ನಂಕಂಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಕಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಗಣಚನ್ನ ಗಣೇನ ಛನ್ನಂ ಗಣಚನ್ನ ತೃತೀಯ ತತ್ಪುರುಷ ಗಣಚನ್ನ ವಾಟ್ ಅರ್ಕಂ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಗಣಚನ್ನ ಅರ್ಕಂ ಮನ್ಯತೆ ಅರ್ಕ ದ ಸೂರ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಗಣೇನ ಛನ್ನ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಕ್ಲೌಡ್ಸ್ ಇತಿ ಗಣಚನ್ನ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಮನ್ಯತೆ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಸ್ ಗಣಚನ್ನ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ it is nishprabham nishprabham arkam one more word is the nishprabham ganachannam nishprabham cha ati mudah nishprabham cha ati mudah nishprabham because of this covering the prabha prabha is the 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 shine bha bhadatu prakarshena ಪಾತಿ ಭಾಸತೆ ಪ್ರಭಾ ದ ಪ್ರಭಾ ದ ಶೈನ್ ನಿಷ್ಪ್ರಭಂ ಭವತಿ ಅರ್ಕಂ ನಿಷ್ಪ್ರಭಂ ನಿರ್ಗತ ಪ್ರಭಾ ಯಸ್ಮಾತ್ ತತ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ನಿಷ್ಪ್ರಭಂ ಗಣಚನ್ನ ಅರ್ಕಂ ನಿಷ್ಪ್ರಭಂ ನಿಷ್ಪ್ರಭಂ ಇಸ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಸಾರಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಅರ್ಕಂ ಸೊ ಗಣಚನ್ನ ಅರ್ಕಂ ದಿ ಅರ್ಕ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ and therefore arka becomes nishprabham arka the sun which always shines prabha that becomes nishprabham in the sentence it is ganachanna markam it is object subject is ganachanna drishti ganachanna ganachanna arkam is object and nishprabham also dvitiya bhakti therefore it is objective complement so nishprabham ಗಣಚನ್ನ ಅರ್ಕಂ ನಿಷ್ಪ್ರಭಂ ಮನ್ಯತೆ ದ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ದಿ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ಇಟ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಪ್ರೋಸ್ ಗಣಚನ್ನ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಗಣಚನ್ನ ಅರ್ಕಂ ನಿಷ್ಪ್ರಭಂ ಮನ್ಯತೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಮನ್ಯತೆ ಕಹ ಗಣಚನ್ನ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಕಂ ಮನ್ಯತೆ ಗಣಚರ್ಗಂ ಮನ್ಯತೆ ಆಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ನಿಷ್ಪ್ರಭಂ ದ ಫಾರ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ನಿಷ್ಪ್ರಭಂ ಮನ್ಯತೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಚ ಅತಿ ಮೂಢ ಅತಿ ಮೂಢ ಅತಿ ಮೂಢ ಇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಡಿಯಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫೂಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೂರ್ಖ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫೂಲ್ ಡೆಲೂಜ ಡೆಲೂಡ because his vision is covered but he says the sun is covered therefore ati moodaha ati moodaha mooda drishtihi yasya saha mooda drishtihi mooda drishtihi that comes later ati moodaha is 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 a, is a moodaha is a moodaha tata second line tata baddavat bhati ತಥಾ ಬದ್ಧವತ್ ಭಾತಿ ಯೋ ಮೂಢ ದೃಷ್ಟೇ ಹೇ ಮೂಢ ದೃಷ್ಟೇ ಹೇ ರೆಫರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಇಯರ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಮೂಢಾ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಮೂಢಾ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಎಸ್ ಯ ಸಹ ಮೂಢ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ದ ಒನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಊಸ್ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಊಸ್ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಈಸ್ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಮೂಢ ಮೂಢ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಮೂಢ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಡೆಲೂಡೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಕನ್ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಯಹ ಮೂಢ ದೃಷ್ಟೇ ಹೇ ತಥಾ ಬದ್ಧವತ್ ಭಾತಿ ಬದ್ಧವತ್ ಆಸ್ ದೋ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಆಸ್ ದ ವಿಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಮೂಡ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಹೂ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಹೂ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಅಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಸಂಸಾರಿ ಮೂಡ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸಂಸಾರ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ವಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ the vision of oneself how he looks upon himself 
ayam atma it is not known in the place of that agam sharira mana sangata he has got abhimana with sharira he has got abhimana with anatma therefore is vision is moda drishti therefore the person is moda drishti bahu bhi samasa moda drishti yasya sah moda drishti for such a person whose vision is deluded baddavat baddavat bhati similarly baddavat he also considers himself to be himself to be baddaha samsari iti samsari iti because ajnanena avartam jnanam tena jivaha mugyanti jivaha mugyanti but who am i actually sah nitya upalabdhi swarupo atma sah that atma is sah asamsari it is nitya it is nitya a nitya upalabdhi 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 has got upalabdhi upalabdhi sthanam we have seen upalabdhi sthanam upalabdhi sthanam is the place where it is upalabdham upa labdha has got many meanings but here we have to take it as jnana jnana ityartha upalabdhi means jnana upalabdhi anupalabdhi anupalabdhi is one of the pramana abhava abhava pramana the or here upalabdhi we have to take it as nitya upalabdhi means nitya upalabdhi meaning jnana therefore therefore you have to take swarupa jnanam ityartha and swarupa nitya upalabdhi swarupa jnanam chaitanyam ityartha nitya upalabdha nitya chaitanyam upalabdhi meaning chaitanyam therefore nitya chaitanya swarupa agam my my swarupa is nitya chaitanyam chaitanyam which is nitya which is nitya chaitanyam which is nityam agam atma chaitanyam nitya iti therefore how can i be i become anatma how can i become a samsari agam samsari atma how can i be a samsari nitya chaitanya swarupah swarupah atma agam asmi iti agam asmi iti so therefore at the level of yashti this avarna shakti makes the person makes a jiva agnyah na janati iti agnyah samsari iti so therefore the samsari tum is real or is it kalpita it is kalpita because it is kalpita therefore pramana vichara can remove if it is real then it cannot go that which is real cannot be removed by can cannot be removed by anything that which is not real that which is false that alone can be removed and here the samsaritvam is because of ajnanam therefore ajnanam that is because of avarnam therefore if the cause of avarnam is removed ajnanam goes away samsara and the subproduct of ajnana the cause of samsara is ajnana and ajnana causes avarana therefore the cause of the cause for samsara is ajnana if that is removed then nitya upalabdhi swarupah aham atma iti jnanam bhavati jivasya the jiva recognizes himself to be a asamsari atma not that he becomes asamsari all the way he is asamsari only that is why nitya the word nitya is important nitya upalabdhi nitya is that which is nitya nitya means it is ever permanent that which is nitya cannot change cannot subject to any modification cannot subject to any change therefore that shat vikara not that shat vikara not that shat bhava vikara so in spite of the sharira mana sangata changing the upadi changing but atma which is upalabdhi swarupah it is nitya bhavati so with what we identify that makes a difference between 
ಸಂಸಾರಿ ಅಹಂ ನಿತ್ಯ ಉಪಲಬ್ಧಿ ಆತ್ಮ ದೆನ್ ಅಹಂ ಅಸಂಸಾರಿ ಇಫ್ ಅಹಂ ಪರಿಚಿನ್ನ ಉಪಾಧಿ ಶ್ರೇಯ ಮನಸ್ ಸಂಗಾತ ಅಹಂ ಇಟ್ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ಅಭಿಮಾನ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಎ ಸಂಸಾರಿ so the difference between the samsari and samsari is the difference in the identification or identification with atma and anatma anatma abhimanam is because of avaran that makes a jiva agnyaha this is therefore now we are the the, the cause for samsaritvam of jiva is talked about but the drishti the drishti the vision of the the these the jiva it is that buddhi of the jiva is covered now buddhi from where the buddhi came the buddhi which is a part of yashti sukshma srishti yashti sukshma yashti sukshma srishti it is the part of the sukshma sharira therefore we have to talk about the srishti so how can we talk about the yashti srishti and as we talk about the samashti srishti jagat srishti so that is going to be the topic now vikshepa will be taken further and discussed later and discussed sequentially so avarna is the karanam because of avarnam there is vikshepa and vikshepa is a cause for the projection therefore jagat therefore jagat discussion ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೋಕ್ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ದ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ತ್ರೀ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ದಿ ಟೀಕಾ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾಧಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಗುರುಜಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಗುರುಜಿ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಗುರುಜಿ